Hi, in this lecture I'm going to talk about the historical perspective on cloud computing. This concept of uh, cloud computing, the concepts that underlie this cloud-based platforms is not entirely a new idea. This concept dates back to 1950s where the time sharing based systems were used for accessing or improving the utilization of mainframe based systems where those systems were accessed via thin clients. In cloud computing platforms also improving the utilization of data centers has been one of the key driving factors where enterprises have utilized various technologies such as uh, virtualization to improve the utilization of their data center resources. So in that sense, this uh, cloud computing concept has similarities to what existed way back in 1950s and 60s. Another uh, important thing to note is that uh, the processing power of computers as well as uh, the speed and other capabilities of various other devices such as uh, storage devices, networks, etc. That has also improved over the years and they have become uh, quite ubiquitous all these uh, uh, high performance uh, devices. They are, they are fairly common these days and their prices have also gone down. Another thing that is of importance is the increased adoption of uh, service oriented architecture techniques to build software applications by enterprises and also as I mentioned briefly before the virtualization technologies have also played an important role because they have enabled the resource consolidation in data centers. Enterprises basically wanted to improve the resource utilization of their data centers. So typically in a data center, resource utilization hovers around 10% of uh, its peak capacity. And there is a strong desire in enterprises to improve this utilization. Uh, so towards that end, there have been efforts to leverage the virtualization technologies for resource consolidation. And this is another aspect which has driven the cloud computing development. An early player in this game has been Amazon. Way back in 2004 and 5, uh, they initiated uh, efforts to build technologies and platforms so that they could improve the utilization of their data centers by resource consolidation. and they were able to offer these computing services as utilities to external users. Cloud computing has been defined in different ways in the early days of this uh, platform. There have been a lot of hair splitting definitions of what it is and what it is not. Fortunately, NIST has uh, finally uh, converged on uh, definition which says that a platform to be called a cloud platform should exhibit uh, some important characteristics and there are five of them uh, that they listed. So the first one is broad network access to the computing services. So what it means is that a cloud provider should be able to offer these services over the network which should be accessible via standard mechanisms and protocols. For example, a consumer should be able to access or connect to the cloud providers resources via let's say HTTP or SSH into the virtual machines that are running let's say in the cloud cloud providers uh, data center. Another characteristic identified is resource pooling which means that a cloud provider is going to pool the resources so as to serve multiple consumers uh, demands. Also the cloud provider should be able to dynamically assign the resources to meet different consumers demands. For example, if you are a consumer and your application demands vary depending upon the time of uh, the business day, so you should be able to provision more or less computing resources depending upon the demand of your applications. So a provider should be able to support this kind of uh, elasticity. We'll see subsequently what elasticity is. So the next uh, characteristic is that the services that a cloud provider offers should be available on demand to the consumers and in a self-service uh, manner. It means that 
there should not be much of a human interaction required in order to request and obtain the computing services from the provider. So there should be, that means, some sort of a, a programmatic API is available to instantiate, let's say, certain kind of computing resources and manipulate them and access them. And another one which is important is red paired elasticity. This means that the resources, computing resources that a cloud provider provides are elastic in nature. That is, they can be provisioned depending upon the consumer's demand. As I just uh, a second ago mentioned, depending upon your application's demands, you should be able to obtain more resources and when your demand goes down, you should be able to relinquish those resources automatically. Another characteristic is that the services offered by the cloud providers are measured services, measured in the sense that both the cloud provider as well as the consumer should be able to monitor the current usage of various uh, resources so that they can be controlled and reported and the user should be billed accordingly whatever quota of resources has been used by his or her applications. So in the next lecture I'm going to talk about uh, the key driving factors behind the cloud computing. So see you in the next lecture.